Hi, welcome. We are back at uh, well, the, the sequel of uh, the making a package build. So it's a, a long video for, I don't know, one hour and a half or something, where we started making your own package. And the package is called Open Box Themes Bambooty Kit with a version behind it. And the version is actually coming from GitHub. So the next thing we need to do is we need to get this thing online so other people can use it. We finished the video with telling, okay, AOR is super, but um, how do I get my package built on this AOR thing? That's the next step. So I'm gonna kill some of these things here. I actually still need you, but all the rest to the left. Except maybe this guy. All the rest I can close to the left. Okay, so AOR, the source and source info is something I'll need later. So, um, how do we start? We need to start Googling again and maybe it, uh, one was something in there of links that was useful, but let's start again. Arch Linux, AOR, submit, All right? Good words, I don't know. Arch, I have a package build I would like to submit, can somebody check, etc. AOR submission guidelines, this song sounds like a good one. So, control C, control V, that's one to keep in mind. Users can share packages built using the Arch user repository. It does not contain any binary packages, so no actual file is in there. No, no actually program, no, no wallpaper, no icon, no theme, nothing. It's not a binary package. So that's why it takes a little bit longer to build. Uh -huh. Unofficial, okay. Uh -huh. At your own risk, okay, we get it. Before attempting to submit a package, you are expected to familiarize yourself with Arch packaging standards. We've done that. And verify carefully that when upload is correct. Okay, yes, sure. Violate the rules, make delete the right Okay, fine. Okay, uh huh. Rules of submission. The submitted package build must not be built applications already in any of the official binary. Remember? We were checking if there are doubles. We should not have doubles. That's clear. It can be that you have a NeoFetch and a NeoFetch kit, but it's not the same. A NeoFetch is going for a Tor GZ version, and a NeoFetch kit is going for the very, very, very last version on Git. That's something else. It's a different package. Do not submit the package, okay? If the official package is out of date, flag it as such. So that's what I'm saying to you as well. Just give us a holler, click on un, uh, flag out of date, and then we get a mail. All right, check the EOR, it all exists. Okay, we've checked, not exist. Make sure the package you want to upload is useful. Well, I hope so. Uh -huh. Do not use replaces unless the package is to be renamed. Remember the example I gave in the other video about HBlock Git and Arco Linux HBlock Git. Conflicts the same way, it will not conflict with anything. Submitting binaries should be avoided, we're not doing that. A comment line at the top of the list, information on the current maintainers, the previous contributors, suspecting the following format. We've done that, we've We've set, well, we've used our dots for real. All good. I hope. And then there's the rubbish, all oh, the rubbish, the hard part start. For write access to the AOR, you need to have an SH key pair. The content of the public key needs to be copied to your profile in my content. The corresponding private key configured in AOR, for example, this thing. You should create a new key pair rather than using an existing one so that you can selectively revoke the keys 
should something happen. Okay. You can add multiple public keys to a profile by separating them with a new line in the input field. Mm -hmm. And these are the steps it should take to get things going. But it's here that I was stuck in, in back in the years, you know. For write access to the AOR, you need to have an SSH key pair. You probably want to read what this is. It can serve as a means of identifying yourself to an SSH server. So it's a server responding on, uh, responding on a particular port and listening to it and say, okay, here's somebody knocking at my door. Does he have the key? Okay, then he can go in. That's basically it, simply put. <laughs> Very simply put. And all kinds of things to read. So we need to have a SSH directory somewhere in here, generating key gens and all that. Let's see, it's really been a long time because once it's installed, it's installed. It just keeps working, you know, that's, that's Linux. But uh, I really don't know what the sequence of the, the was again. So let's follow this tutorial. Not sure I need to generate anything. Uh, probably will. But, and that one. So we need anyway. Yeah, probably will. The content of the public key needs to be copied over profile and account. Um, I'm just thinking, will I do it really from scratch? It would be a great thing. Eh? somebody explained it to you from a to z which means um i probably better register under another name um just thinking what that would be what username i would take um, so first things first let's make an arch linux account on the war and um, figure out what email address i'll use and then everything else. So that's the same, we will, you will do the same thing. Um, and let's continue there. All right, I'm in luck. I still found an Arch Linux teaching Gmail thing that I can use. So it's not for, uh, I, I don't look at it, it's just for teaching. That's the point of it. If only I can copy paste, I don't want to type. Ah, <laughs> I'll type, whatever. So, Arch Linux teaching, was it the dot, no dot, at gmail.com. There is definitely a dot in there. So I will get an email later on. <sighs> yeah. Let's keep the same, otherwise I won't remember. Arch Linux teaching. Aha! I am done typing. This is it. Teaching. Looks good, it's like deeping without G. So, Arch Linux teaching is my username. Hide email address, maybe better to do that. Uh, don't use it, it's not, not uh, used. Real name. Well, I'll do this. Home page. I still have my own website, if you didn't know. This is something we're gonna do later on, my guess. Language UTC is, is good for me, but actually it's Brussels. There's no Brussels, is there? Europe, London. Is there no Brussels? Ah, there we are. You're a Brussels, uh, Budapest. Well, it's the same time, so really doesn't matter. Eric, you're losing time. Okay, this is something we'll need later on. It needs to know what your key is. If you don't have that key, you do not get in. Well, notify everything. Well, that's great, but I will never read it, so... Um, well, yeah, I'll, I'll do this and I'll forward my stuff maybe later on. Anyway, so create, is it done? Mm -hmm. Sure, 
it's done. The account Arcalink is teaching without the G, you have to remember that a password reset key has been sent to your email. Okay, that's true. I got a something in here. And then we click, then we confirm uh, your email address, which is not this one, Eric, which is um, arcolinux.teaching with a G, gmail.com. Passwords, use last pass like my students have to for their exams. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Generate secure passwords. <laughs> I am at 40, my friend. Advanced options with all the gibberish in it. Copy password. That is going to be my password. 40 length. Continue. And I say add it to my list of 800 websites or so. So, login. No, I have another one. <laughs> I have this one. Login. And I have a account. My flagged packages, my requests, my packages don't have anything yet. Co-maintained, everything is in here. These are the packages. This is my dashboard and this is my account. So we'll need to go in here later on for the public key. And we can log out. Basically, that's it. This is your, well, um, user dashboard as an Arch Linux user repository maintainer or contributor. You see have other things as well, co-maintain and that. All right, step one, we have an account, we are registered. So we have that here, so that goes there. And then what's next? Guidelines. For right access to the AUR, you need to have an SSH key repair. The content of the public key needs to be copied to your account. Something needs to be copied in, <gasps> oh, I did a logout, too late. Something needs to be copied in here. SSH public key. Fine, it's ready. Uh huh. And corresponding private key configured. Uh -huh. For example, we need to make this copy in the SSH config. Fine. Super shift. And then this one. Open it up. Do I have an SSH? Don't have one. So create folder. Dot SSH. Now I have one and it was a file folder. Let's speak again. Folder called config. And open it up. Control V, save. That's it. Okay, that's it. Go read again. You should create a new key pair rather than use an existing one so you can successfully revoke the key should something happen. Okay. Let's do that. Control C. Um, more. This is open. Control Shift V. So it's an application minus F. I actually, want to know what minus F is. So keygen FFF stands for. There's a host name as a capital F. Small f file name specifies the file name of the key file. Okay, the f for file. Now it makes sense. Oops. I suppose I need to do another copy paste. Let's keep track of things happening on our machine. So I'm doing this into a file and it calls AOR. Enter. Enter passphrase empty for no passphrase. I didn't. I don't think I used a passphrase. So if you want to make it more difficult, you can type in your password here or something. But then you need to remember your password. Okay. Enter same passphrase uh, again. And this is your thing. It's gonna be here. This uh, EUR thing is created. The key fingerprint is this thing, and and stuff like that. I'll rechange everything after this tutorial. But um, okay, we've done that. So what's next? 
You can add multiple cases or not. Fine, creating packages repositories. We need to do this. But don't they say what to copy paste over? Because they say, for example, we have to copy paste AWAR, I think. So let's get back in here. We have now an, another one, a public one. This is your private one. If I click this, you can actually put things on here in my name. So that's not a good thing to share your private um, configuration. But the public one, that's no problem at all to share because, well, I'll, I'll not share it. I'll share it a little bit in code, but you, the content of this one needs to go on the, the internet. Yeah. So I'm going to pause here. Right, I've copy pasted it. Going to here to my own account. And in here will come this, the long line of code. The line, long line of code you're not look, you're not seeing fully. So it's just a part of code that you're missing. So you can actually not uh, uh, fake that anything, fake my person. So when we update this, we have now the key to get inside is in there. We say, this is me, this is my public key. If I come and knock at your door at AOR, Arch Linux, let me in. That's what we've done. We've copy pasted this public thing in there. Okay, what's next up? Next up is this one. So we've done that, creating patches repositories. So this thing, this is what we need to do. We can actually control C this thing blah 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 okay then then it's best i put this actually on a place where i'll keep track of it in my case i put everything in my dropbox now the dropbox has not synced i see so preferences sync selective sync get me my aor packages update okay okay and all the aor stuff is coming down and i'm gonna create my myself a folder um, well, actually, no, I'm not going to create a folder. I'm going to make a folder. Open terminal here, Control shift v I do it in my Dropbox. That way everything is uh, nicely synced all the time. Now, I need to change stuff, right? Package base git is not probably my name of my package. I think not. So what is this? What, what is our name? Well, we'll have to check again. What is my name again? Um, we probably best when do we did we do it on the yeah we did it here so this is gonna be my name my package control C control shift V is that good this means I'm gonna make a particular github I'm gonna make a git on the AOR and it's going to be called Openbox Themes Pambudi Git. And that's how people will find it. Okay, going for it. Authenticity of host can't be established. Key fingerprint is blah, blah, blah. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Permanently adding blah, to the list of known hosts. Warning, you appear to have cloned an empty repository. Of course, it's empty. Okay. This needs to go in there. The package build needs to go in there. So cut. It's not needed here. It's actually needed here. Control V. So now we have a package build that we can actually put on the net. Now I've done already some packages as you are well aware. So what did I do? I've made myself my life easier with some nice scripts. And this is one of the scripts and this is one of the things. All we need to do is just put it on there. Let's do in steps, come to this one and move to this one. I need to, like any other GitHub or GitLab or anything Git-like, you need to run some scripts. 
And all I said is, find me everything. Well, this is actually a script, which we can actually now, um, we can do this. Make package print screen screen info. It's the same thing as using an application that I don't have anymore. That well, that's still available, but it's not necessary. This thing does exact thing. Um, the result is exactly the same thing. You need to have this source, sorry, this source info file. So find, make the package, but all I want is do not make the package. All I want is a source info file. Get all everything, everything you find in the inside this folder. Get everything in here. And they do want you to write something um, in the commits. So it's good practice on GitHub. I, I, God knows I don't do that, but it's good practice to actually say what's changing in your on your system on GitHub, like release 24, release 25, release 26, because basically you don't know what, what Adi is doing. So, but saying already it's another release is giving information to the users. And so this is the lines that will do, but maybe this thing, let's do this first. So you see what happens. Open terminal here. And we do control shift V and we see what happens. We see that there is an, and the end result of this command is actually some information for the system. Package base, that description, that version, that release, that arch, that GPL3, depends, gits and so on. And it's coming from there, skip everything and that's it. This is not for us. This is just for Pac-Man or for AWAR, not sure, both of them. Anyway, they need to know it. Why is this not safe? Did I change something? This has this, oh yeah, I go, I know why, because it's still pointing to the desktop and I've moved it. So we have now here this thing. Okay, almost there. What people do not want to have on their um, AOR, on Arch Linux, so the REAP the AOR, is as well this script that I use. It's an interesting script, right? It, this git sh is super interesting, but they don't want it to be on there. And there's this little file called ignore, control C, open box themes, then you have the best of the two worlds. You have an easy way of installing and they have no message for, they don't have this thing on there. That's just, the end result is just this thing and this thing on there. What is git ignore? Git is saying, forget about git sh. Whatever you do, don't put it on there. That's basically what we're saying. It git ignore, ignore this one. And now we can actually run our git thinking, did I forget something? Forget something, the guidelines, maybe we should check. <laughs> okay, let's check. So the publishing new package content, I've done this one. Git add package build source info. Yep, done with get, git add dot, it's done. Git commits, uh, we'll do a commit, so it will ask for a commit. If was not included in your first commit, add it by rebasing with root. So don't forget it, don't have to rebase anything. And then the maintenance, maintaining this zone, if you don't, if you say I don't want to follow this package anymore, let's let somebody else take care of it, then you just disown your package and it becomes orphaned. And that's how I became the maintainer of the Numix icon themes, Numix themes, and so on. Because we have it standard on other Linux, have to build it anyway. So why not give back to the community of Arch Linux? So, no, I don't think we forgot anything. Uh, let's give it a try. So, you go up there. You, that one can go. You go down there and you you can be killed and we should still have a package built open to take a look from time to time. That's the code. So, LS, this is the package build. 
we are in our um, Dropbox system, so it's already synced to all my other computers. And now we're gonna push it to the net. So with a dot git thing, we using these uh, commands, he's made this source info, so it's new. If there was a new version, it will have a new version. Write your commits uh, comments. Uh, well, I'll check the number 24. Huh? First time commit and release 24. Voila, that's all they want. And then we need to set up some, some names here. Please tell me who you are. Set up the commits. And we do have these commits and these, these folders as well. So he wants to know who I am. You, if you go and visit, maybe we should not go to my um, PC, but find it online. GitHub, Arc Linux, there we go. Arc Linux GitHub. Well, maybe this one. Nope. Maybe this one. Setup Git. Raw. And basically it's this. That's what he's missing. He's missing some elements to set up your GitHub. Who are you? He asks me who I am. Who are you? Git Config Global User Email. Who are you? Well, I'm Eric Dubois. That's the mail. I'm going to use Nano. And the caching is this and as such. So basically, that's what you need to in, uh, put in. Either you put it line per line, which we can do, or we just uh, copy paste or download this thing. So we have it as well. As well. So any of these guys, you see some, some of them have it, some of them do not have it, but just get it, download it, which means it's going to be on your system in here somewhere. You download it. Let's take a look. This one has it. Okay. So control C. Well, actually, I don't have to put it in there. I just need to run it. Uh, so anywhere is good. Run it from anywhere. It doesn't have to be in your Dropbox for AUR or anything. It just wants to know why I'm why I'm so okay another go first time commit yeah if you're totally new to github let's get that out of the way as well if github is sounds good but you say oh my god of course there is tutorial from it for it so go to start here getting ready for the next phases what if there is a way to keep track of all the commands? What if there's a way to keep all the configuration files online? That's GitHub for you guys. These are all the advantages you can have with GitHub. What, and you can share your GitHub files with anybody. The steps you go through, make an account, verify the email address, your first account, and really one video or two and you're up and you're working with it. So be my guest, become a GitHub member. First time commit, release, whoa, the typo, release, 24, okay, mm -hmm. enter, and we're off, this is a good sign, and I'm happy to have built, uh, to have made this video, because I was always postponing it, postponing it, postponing it, but there is an Arch Linux slash Arch Linux holiday challenge, I'll share it with you make your own package and put it online for AOR so anybody can use it. That's the fun. That's why AOR and why Arch Linux is so strong because we have so many packages to choose from. But do it the right way. Do it the right way, do it this way. Maybe I've made mistakes. Please correct me then. Put it online uh, under this YouTube uh, tutorial. But um, basically, um, would be nice if we got some result from all these videos. Yay, Pampuri, are you there, my friend? Look at that. We can install open box themes from Pampuri Git, but first, sudo pacman minus um, remove. Yes, that was correct. And then the open box themes from Pampuri. Let's get rid of my own. That's the one we've installed from a local version. We can always, you can always make package builds for yourself, always. But it would be nice 
if you would share it online with A1. So it's out of my system, but if I want to have it back, I run number one, I follow these words, these, these steps, and everything is going to be built, packaged. He wants my password. And that's that. We have now a Openbox Team Spam Booty Kit and everybody can use it. Anybody on Arch Linux, Manjaro guys, well, maybe the Antarcos guys still present there. Um, anything Arch based is able to be able to install it. Should we check? Yes, you should always check your system. If it's working, if you're making a package build, always check, check, check. Let there be doubt in your world, then you'll have mis less mistakes. So let's find an um, Bonzo. Okay, do I have Bonzo in my system? Where's Bonzo? Is here Bonzo with a B? Bonzo. Okay, we have Bonzo. Check. Open box three. So these things have been installed, and you're good to go. If you want to know even more, you can also go in here. Another update. Okay, fine. Update. Get it out of the way. Done. And done. Pambuli. Yeah, I didn't respond. So, sorry, Eddie, but this is going to be the name. Name changing afterwards is not done. Do it right the first time. Okay. Files. So you can always check if you done it right this way. You have this license in here, uh, Thames Arc clone, he's calling it. Didn't give any problems because of course there's an Arc theme. If you would have named it Arc, you would have a problem and we have double names and then Pacman says, hey, what are you doing? You will not overwrite a package from somebody else. So he's taking care of that. Sorry. Looks all good, right? That's what we need to have. And that gives me to a complete circle, starting from something you find on the line, online and making a package build. That was a long video. This is a shorter one. Then we need to actually uh, start putting it online, make an account. And yeah, maybe we should end with this one. So if you do a, a refresh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, probably, yeah, that's what I should have pressed. Here it is, open box teams, Pambuidi Git. It's your thing. This is the version, the votes. Oh, I didn't get any votes. Popularity, ah. Notify, yes, open box teams. And this is the maintainer. You can always click on here and see that eventually you know my name. This is not going to be used, but it's, you know me. You Google Eric Dubois, you'll find the Gmail. And this is um, how it's done. So holiday challenge, find yourself something nice that's not on the AUR yet. See if you can figure it out, make your package build, share it with the people and let me know it would be nice. All right, cheers.